In this session, I want to talk about load balancing accounts. So a situation might come up where you have certain account owners and you want all of these account owners to be maxed out or have a capacity of, let's say, 100 active prospect accounts at any given time. You don't want to give them more, otherwise then their focus and their attention and their efforts will be divided among too many accounts. But you also want them to be filled up and topped up if they drop back below that amount. And the reason why they might drop back below is let's say they finish working this account and they become a customer, so the type changes. That might be one reason they have some extra capacity. And another reason might be, let's say they change the account status from active to dormant or inactive or maybe disqualified. That might be another scenario where you might want to allow them to receive another account to replace the one that they're no longer working. So there are ways that you can do this within Lean Data, and we're going to use our capping, conditional capping feature to do that. So let's do this. Let's go over to Lean Data. I'm in my capping rule section. To get here, you can go ahead and go to People, and then Settings, and then click on Capping Rules. I'm going to go ahead and create a capping rule. I'm going to call this, let's say, 100 Active Prospect Accounts. And this is clearly for the account object. And then I'm going to define my conditions. So I am going to look at the type. And I'm going to select prospect. And I'm going to add another condition. This one's going to be for the status of the account. And I'm specifically looking for a status of active. And notice that the rule logic says one and two. So I'm looking for both of these to be true in order to meet that qualification to be uh, counted in this 100. So I will go ahead and click Save Capping Rule. That saves the rule. Now I need to apply this rule to an actual round robin. So I'm going to jump over to my list of round robins here. You can easily find this by going to Routing and then to Round Robin and then Pools. I have a pool here that I intend to use for it. So let's just go ahead and open this. And what I'm planning to do is go to Advanced Settings, select Conditional Capping Model, and then I will add a capping rule. So I'm going to select that rule that I just created. Type in 100 here so that it knows how many to look for. And then I'm going to click Save Pool. So now I have a pool that will only assign up to 100 active prospect accounts whenever it's called upon to distribute those accounts. Next thing I need to do is actually create a graph. So I am going to jump over to another tab here. And here I have a graph. This is not going to be my live graph. I'm just going to create a graph for use in routing scheduler. So I only really need one entry point since it's not going to be actually processing um, accounts as they get updated or as they come in and it won't be the deployed graph. So I'm going to go pull in a round robin node. The entry criteria doesn't matter since I'm only going to be using this for routing scheduler. And I am going to select the pool, active prospect topping off pool, and click done. And I will go ahead and save this. I won't deploy it. Remember, I'm only using this in routing scheduler. So the last thing that I need to do is I need to go to, over to our routing scheduler tool, which you can find in routing, routing scheduler. And I'm going to create a recurring routing job that will basically check, let's say once a night for any accounts that are in a holding or a placeholder ownership. Many times people, if they want to withhold certain accounts from their account owners, they will have a placeholder owner. So that's what I'm going to do here. So let's just name this uh, top being off active prospect accounts. I will select the graph called account load balancing. That's the one that I just saved. There's only one entry point, so that makes it pretty easy. I'm going to do a recurring job, pick the start date, how frequently I want this to run. Daily seems like a good cadence, and at 12 midnight is fine. And now I need to identify which accounts am I going to send through this nightly job. So in my instance, I have all of my accounts that are available to be assigned. 
owned by a placeholder owner, like an admin user. So what I will do is I will look for the owner. And now you can select ID, but for me, I don't know the ID off the top of my head, so I'm just gonna use the name. I'm gonna do full name equals, and then Suzy admin is the name of my admin user. You may have your own criteria for how to identify which accounts are eligible to be assigned and to fill up any of your account owner's um, account list. So I will go ahead and click create conditions. And all of these other fields here are optional. So I can go ahead and click the schedule routing job and this will run. And let's change the date here. Can't pick a date in the past. And this will run nightly at midnight. And it will look for accounts that are held by that placeholder owner, assign it via that round robin, but it will only assign the records to reps who have less than 100 active prospect accounts. So that's how you would set up load balancing accounts in Lean Data.